Hello followers, let's look at this question. Write 0 0.03568 in standard form. Okay, when they give you a number and they've asked you to write it in standard form, that is the same as saying you write it in a scientific. So when you say standard form, that is the same as saying scientific notation. Okay. So don't get confused. When you say standard form, and that's the same as saying you write a given number in scientific notation. How do you go about it? You get the number, it can be a decimal number, it can be a whole number, but you have to be very careful and listen to what I'm going to say. So this one will be 0 0.03568. When you're writing in standard form or scientific notation, always know that the number should be one point something to look at where I've started from. It should be one point, two point, three point, four point, five point, six point, seven point, eight point, up to nine point. It should end here. You see that? Take note of that. Whenever you're writing in standard form, it should always be 1.2.3.4 up to 9 point. Look at this. Zero point. There is no zero point here. It means you have to shift the point here. You have to shift from where it is here to where the first natural number is here. So this point here must be shifted or you have to shift it from where it is to between the first two natural numbers. So it will shift from here to here. So that it becomes what? Three point. I see that. So it will now be 3.568. In standard form or scientific notation, always. I've used the word always there. Always times 10. Not any other number, but always times 10. And there should be a power here. This power can either be positive or negative. I stay we together there. It can either be positive or negative. How do you know whether it's positive or negative? Depends on the direction of uh, the, the point, the way you are shifting. So in this case, the point is here. We are shifting this direction. One, two, to be here. You see that? So if it is this direction, then it should be negative. I see that. Negative what? You count the number of times you are shifting. So it is 1, 2. So it will be negative 2. If we are shifting this direction, this should be positive. So this is the final answer. You have written this number in scientific notation or standard form. Bye-bye.